Well, good morning, everybody. This is Marshawn Olanio. I am out here for day three of my 30-day challenge on how to improve your relationship by three times the amount. So today, we're actually going to talk about showing love. Yes, it's love. Yes, y'all. Come on. Come on in. Love is an action word. Love is not just something that you uh, think that your partner knows that you love them, right? It actually is an action word. It's a word that you have to go out and do something. And what that means is a lot of people, when they think about showing love, they think that they have to do something grandiose. They think that they have to go out and spend all of this money, whether it's like, you know, maybe it's actually, maybe you think that showing love is buying a vehicle. Maybe you think that showing love is having this lavish vacation. Maybe you think that showing love is, you know, taking her to the most expensive restaurant or renting out a place to do something extravagant. Those things, you can show love that way. So I'm not knocking them in any kind of way. You can show love that way, but you can also show love in doing the small things. And it is actually the small things that we think about. It's the small things that remember, that we remember. It is the small things that we actually think about later on to say, you know what? That's actually why I love this person. That's actually why I like this person. That's actually what makes me keep choosing this person because of the small things that you continue to do, that you continue to showcase. So for example, maybe you notice your spouse actually loves flowers. And so instead of you um, going out and spending money, especially if you don't have money, maybe you happen to walk past a neighbor. Nah, I don't, I don't recommend this, but just, just bear with me. <laughs> maybe you happen to walk past a neighbor's house who have this beautiful rose bushes or beautiful, um, I, I actually think dandelions are pretty, but whatever they are, you know that your wife likes flowers, you know that your spouse likes flowers, just pick one flower because that one flower is going to show, you know what, I actually thought about you. I thought about you today and I wanted to show you how much I love you. I wanted to show you how much I care about you. I wanted to show you that I was actually thinking about you. Or maybe you want to show your spouse love by, you know what, I'm going out to the store. I need to pick up a few things. And you know that they're out of their favorite product. You know that they're out of their favorite food or whatever it is. So instead of you having to call and you know or text to whatever it is to get their uh, to get um, in touch with them you just decide you know what i'm just gonna pick this up for them because i know that they're out and only thing that they're gonna know is that the product has been replaced they're gonna know that it didn't magically happen right even if you two never even talk about the thing that you replace for them they're gonna think yeah see this is why i love him this is why i love her so again love is an action word one of the things that you want to remember is that you don't want to assume that your spouse, your, that your partner knows that you love them. Yes, you chose them. Yes, you decided to marry them, but they still need to hear it. They need for you to um, show them that you love them. They need to just, just feel it. They need to feel the connection. They need to feel important to you. They need to feel like they are a priority to you. So showing love is something that is very important in your relationship. And just like all of these tips, all of these tips are going to improve your relationship by three times. And, and really, it's going to improve your relationship by at least five times, especially if you implement all of these things. But at the very least, if you implement some of these things, then your relationship will absolutely improve. Um, because your partner is actually um, going to feel like they are going to love the attention that you are giving them. And when, when you're showing your partner love, it doesn't feel like a chore to you. You don't want it to feel like a chore because then it's not going to be authentic to them. It's also not going to be authentic to you. They're going to feel that it's just something that you're doing. It's like a, a, a check mark. It's like a, a check mark that you're adding to the box to say, yep, I got this thing done. So I'm checking it off. So all of us like to feel the attention. We all like to feel like, um, like it's not a chore to um to us see i actually get like this myself in my own relationship there's just life is just happening every single day so i totally get it life is happening every single day and sometimes you just you just don't want to do it sometimes you just want to be selfish so i am guilty of that as well and sometimes we just get in our own way sometimes we just uh <laughs> we just don't feel like it how about that we just don't feel like it. i mean is it just me what about you have you ever done anything like that have you ever just not felt felt like showing your partner love even though you know that this is an area that you need to tighten up on you know that this is an area that you need to tighten up on but 
for some reason just today you're not feeling it so I know that it's not just me <laughs> I know that it's not just me out, out here but um showing your love is very important to your relationship is very important to your um, partner and also one of the things that you need to think about if, if you don't know about this uh, a lot of people that are into um, self-help and just creating the love life that they like they know about this book however I want to mention it which is the five love languages do you know what your partner's love language is because another way for you to show love hey cousin hey Angela I see you on here hey um, another way for you to show love um, to your partner to your spouse is to know what their love la love language is because a lot of times when we're starting to show love what we're actually doing is showing our partner we're showing our spouse love the way that we want to be loved so say for instance um, like actually in my own relationship let's talk about me okay in my own relationship my husband he his is acts of service so he loves when I actually do things for him so whether it's um, making sure that our daughter is you know bathed clothed all that stuff whether it's uh, making sure that the house is clean his pet peeve is dishes in the sink and that's not my pet peeve so I'm a work in progress y'all I'm a work in progress those dishes get on my nerves because we don't have a dishwasher and I'm still hand washing and okay I, I went down a rabbit hole okay I'm gonna move on so but I know that his is acts of service so I, I make sure that I cook for him I make sure that you know that the, that the house is clean the dishes are done you know etc so I do those things for him we both love quality time together so that's something that we do on a regular basis we have that on lock we actually spend sometimes too much time together especially on the weekend <laughs> um, because we just you know we both have other things to do and we also love our me time as well but um, anyway let me get back to this showing love is very important you need to show love the way that your spouse needs to be loved um, and so if you don't know what the five love languages are I always forget one so somebody else can put it down in the comment section below and maybe today I might forget two but anyway <laughs> um, one is acts of service another one is quality time one is words of affirmation um, another thing is gifts and I told you I always forget one so you know put it down in the comment section below if you know what the fifth one is I always forget one but the point is if you do not know your spouse's love language found out what your spouse's love language is so you can show them love the way that they need to be loved again the name of the book is five love languages by um, Gary Chapman if you want to pick up that book and uh, he does have everybody's online so you can go online and find out what your love language is if you do not know what it is which is um, you can just type in the search engine five love languages quiz and it'll come up so you can find out where you're at and then your spouse actually you can take it your partner can take it as well and then you guys can discuss this thing so you actually know how to show love to your partner how to show love to your spouse and gifts I don't want to knock gifts everybody like gifts but people try to make it seem like gifts is a bad thing sometimes especially if you're quote-unquote high maintenance it doesn't have to be a bad thing if it is your thing your um, partner just needs to know what your thing is so they'll know how to um, cater to you and a person that actually likes gifts doesn't necessarily need um, extravagant gifts all the time so I'm taking up for the people that need that need and want their love shown through gifts because I know that sometimes that that one can get a bad rap but it doesn't have to be a bad rap y'all go out there and show love to your partner the way that they need to be loved to make them feel special make them feel like they are priority and you will see a complete difference in your relationship Definitely let me know what you're going to do. What are you going to do different to show love to your spouse? Let me know down in the comment section below. And I will see you guys here the same time, same place tomorrow. All right? This is the third day of the 30-day challenge. See y'all tomorrow.